The channels panel is a really valuable panel. It can help you quickly identify what colors your image is made from, but also you can see the density of the color that's being used to create the image. You can see that there's a lot more black in an image than magenta, for example, or there's a lot of cyan and not a lot of yellow. Um, you can also see if you're using any additional colors beyond what are called process colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and red, green, and blue, CMYK and RGB, are considered process colors. These colors are blended together, either through physical inks or wavelengths of light to recreate various colors. So you don't get just red, green, and blue. If you blend those wavelengths of light together, you get oranges and purples and pinks and, and maroons and all these different colors. I want to show you how and why it's important to use the channels panel to identify your colors. If we look at these two images, I have house one and house two, they are the same exact image and they look identical. But one is constructed using red, green, and blue wavelengths of light, and one, when it is output, will be output using cyan, magenta, yellow, and black ink. If we look at the channels panel, the channels panel will show us which image is which. So this image, house one, is made up of red, green, and blue. And you can see if I turn different channels off, there's this much blue. All of what you're seeing right now will be made from blue. And if I turn on green, green and blue would produce all of the colors that you're seeing now. If I turn blue off, all the colors that you see are where green is, is included. Green and red produces yellow colors. And if you mix them all together, you get what we consider a full color image. If I look at the CMYK version, it looks identical. It's the same colors on screen to me, but it's actually made of four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And so if you turn off the little um, eyeballs on the different channels, we can see everywhere you're seeing right now is made from blue ink, cyan ink. And you can see that the person's shirt in the foreground and the sign in the top left corner and the shutters on the front of the house, there's a lot of blue, a lot of cyan in those areas. If I mix cyan and magenta, it would produce all of these colors. This image shows the density of all the magenta in the image. So there's a, there's a fair amount of magenta. I can also toggle on yellow. Everywhere you see right now is made up of yellow. The house is very yellow. If we turn all CMYK back on, that's pretty obvious, right? I would expect there to be a lot of yellow in that house. And then again, we can show you where the black is. The black is usually to highlight or emphasize colors to make them richer or um, increase saturation in different areas. Um, one thing I like to do is show you what an image could look like made up of only three colors. Students often ask me, why do we have three colors RGB, but we have four colors for CMYK? In theory, we only need three colors, cyan and magenta and yellow. But notice how when the colors are mixed together, you don't get a lot of crispness. All the dark areas look a little bit muddy. So you use black over the top of the whole image to accentuate details and increase saturation.